Yo, welcome back to Genshin Impact. In our last episode, we just did a little hangout. We went with Sayu. That's why we were back in Inazuma. And now there's a new event. Very cheerful music. Um, We can get lots of things from what it looks like. And Ayaka is there. Oh my god, my beloved. Um, but also, we may run into characters we don't know. Which is very, very likely to happen. Because I'm... Um, so, uh, very, very early in the Archon quest, and I didn't have time to catch up on it, and I also didn't know that this event was gonna happen so soon. Because uh, last time I played, there wasn't any event. And, like, it's still in the same version update as the one I played when Navia's banner came out, like, when a new update came out. And we didn't, like, have the new event then, so I thought, okay, it's gonna happen, like, in the second half, and, like, all of these events which are like story relevant, they always take like 30 days or something, so you can have plenty of time to get into the event. So when I opened the game today and I saw that uh, Paimon started talking to me and then I checked the uh, event quest uh, menu and saw that it's, I only have 10 days left, I was like, here we go again. Because I don't have time for this, but I'm hoping we can still get this through. Um, decorations. It's our first time having a festive event happening in Fontaine, so sign me up. At least we can start this off without being like, oh, you have to do Seriously? this quest first. But Mr. Morris, I don't understand, sir. How could you only be telling me this now? Oh, it's the guy from Inazuma from the uh, Tatarasuna quest chain. Uh, I'm afraid that there's nothing really I can do. I'm really facing a crisis. My hands are tied. But what about my film? Damn. There's more important things. Well, I'm afraid you have to come up with something on your own. Take it from me. Sometimes you just have to let things go. Same goes for this film festival. <laughs> so, do I have to work on this film then? Oh, oh. Yeah. Hey, isn't that Xavier? So he's back in Fontaine? I guess so. Looks like it. Also, don't mind my voice yeah. sounding crispy. I don't know what's going on. Oh, why, if it isn't the dear Traveler and Paimon. I really didn't expect to bump into you here at this time. Oh, it's been a while. Yeah, really, actually. Well, I was doing just fine until I received some terrible news just now. The investor I was working with for my upcoming film has fallen upon some hard times uh. and is no longer able to provide the promised amount of funds. Look at her. Can't you just find a different investor? Purple hat girl in the background. I don't know her name. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. We had signed an agreement specific to the Fontanalia Film Festival, stipulating that I cannot work with any other investors until the festival is finished. Okay, wait, before we actually meet this character, because I don't know if you actually met her in the main quest before, if you played the main quest or not. Uh, all I know about her, I think her name is like Chevreuse, Ch Chevreuse. I always, in my head, I always uh, read that name and it's like, okay, Chetroulette. <laughs> anyone remembers that uh and i always just thought that she was evil because she's like always seen with like guns or something and she looks like some type of like military assistant or i don't know but apparently she's nice i guess when she's just standing out there the fontanalia film festival what's that the grammys oh in is this your first time participating in fontaine's fontanalia film it's festival my first time being in fontaine. then allow me to fill you in yeah please <laughs> The Fontanalia Festival was established to commemorate the legendary Loch Knights, who went on a quest to search for the Oceanids and eventually welcomed the Hydro Arconigeria. Who's that? <laughs> uh, the holiday is deeply connected to the founding of Fontaine, as well as its unique laws and trials. It's one of the most important festivals for this nation. The Persona 5 soundtrack. <laughs> that weird expression on your face. It's like you're trying really hard to remember something. Mm. Yeah, the sound effect was a little too late. Ah, oh, I was just trying to recall the exact description from the books. <laughs> In order to avoid any uh, unnecessary arguments over semantics, <laughs> I usually try to recite things straight from the source. Mm, sure. Well, either way, Pyra thinks she gets it now. It's just like the Windbloom Festival in Mondstadt and the Lantern Rite in Lila. Yeah. 
Yes, those are festivals of a similar variety. <laughs> Who doesn't like a good festival? And just like those of other nations, Fontaine will hold a plethora of events around this time each year. To commemorate the Loch Knights, people will imitate them by putting on special costumes, raising golden cups, and going door to door asking for pure water. <laughs> hey, so you have some holy but water. A few years ago, Lady Farina started to find the whole idea a little drab, and so decided to change the part about pure water to. It's sweets. like Halloween. That really doesn't surprise Paimon at all. <laughs> The whole thing seems more akin to a carnival now, and it's quite popular among the kids. Every year, you can hear a bunch of them saying, Trial or treat! Trial or... Oh, that uh. sounds pretty fun! <laughs> but how does that connect back to the film festival you mentioned? Yeah, all right. Ah, yes, I, it appears I've strayed off topic. <laughs> I just got too excited after seeing you. Let me get back to the this point. This is the first time you heard a Sky Voice actor. The Fontanalia actors. Film Festival is an event proposed by the Fontaine Film Association this year. Now that film technology has matured as a medium, it's the perfect time to introduce more people to the art form. During this time, people may submit films to be evaluated, and the entry with the highest score will be given the Farina Award by the association. The what award? <laughs> yeah. The Farina Award. You know, after the Hydro Archon, they coined it while Lady Farina was still in power, but uh, even though things have changed, no one has made any motion to update the name. Don't spoil me. Perhaps everyone still thinks of it as a pretty appropriate name. Even though she isn't the Hydro Archon any longer, Lady Farina is still Fontaine's superstar. Anyone with eyes can see the way she shines on the stage. What is going on? Huh. All right. Guess the name does work pretty well when you put it that way. Oh, but who would have guessed there'd be an issue with the funding? How will I ever explain this to Miss Chiori? Not to say all the other actors who traveled all the way here from Inazuma. Chiori? Uh, sounds ah, familiar. Hey. Why have we heard that name before? Uh, actually, we don't, but I've heard the name before, and she's on the lounge banner. It's a cute, uh, I don't know, purple, black hair, I don't know, something with, like, the space pants. She looks cute. Why did YouTube just send me an email of, like, cl copyright claiming a song from My Life is Strange Let's Play, which I uploaded in, like, 2020? <laughs> I guess she runs a clothing store in the Court of Fontaine. Oh. Yes, that's her. I asked her to oversee the event's art direction, including the design of the actor's costumes and appearances. Didn't see much of her design, but I assumed she was from Leo. I don't know. Her hair, her hair, I can't talk, Jesus. Her hair reminded me of uh, Yao Yao's. Oh, Paimon remembers now. Navia said that her clothes were designed by Chiori, and Kirara's outfit too. Yeah, but Kirara is from Sumeru. No, from How Inazuma. to describe her? Uh, well, she tends to be pretty direct and can be very forceful when it comes to dealing with people. The fashion world in Fontaine has dubbed her the Thundering Seamstress. <laughs> her remarkable designs have led many Fontanians to become very interested in Inazuma. Anyway, Chiori is acquainted with all the actors I've invited from Inazuma. Without her help, I don't think I would have been able to get such an international cast for the film. She really is a kind and soul. And my wife Ayaka is going to be the main character? Who are the <laughs> actors from Inazuma? Do we know them? <laughs> Why don't the two of you accompany me to the Aquabus station to welcome oh them? Oh my god, it's more than just Ayaka. <sighs> I bet you and Mio is going to be there too. I want to see Goro. The, time, the Aquaba should be arriving shortly. Chiori will be waiting to meet me there as I well. I want to see Goro and Toma and Yaimiko. Are there any other characters? The crack of muskets breaking the silence. Oh, I wish we had Christmas in Genshin Impact. Is the purple haired girl still here? Oh. oh, the music is so nice. <laughs> this really does feel like some old fashioned movie thing. Yo, the menu looks so cool. Thousand pace interdiction arc minute sharpshooting zone. During the Fonti Fontinelia Film Festival, you and Paimon encounter a special member of the guards. She seems to be looking. Okay, that's Chef Ruse. Chef Ruse, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, she seems to be looking for guests to partake in an event test. That's uh, probably what I'm gonna start when I walk over and talk to the purple haired girl. Okay. Trick shots, tricky lights. 
On the side of the Fontanelli of Film Festival, an experimental film director dressed quite ost ostentatiously extends his sincere invitation. Extreme Drive! During the joyous festival, some involved with the filmmaking industry are wearing frowns. You and Paimon encounter an unfortunate contracted em employee. Into the frame, the young, talented film director Mr. Petit Lumiere gave you, gave you his business card. He seems to have a unique understanding of films. Uh, before we do any of that, I want to talk to her. Hello there, I can't talk to you? Why does the game not let me talk to you? That's... That's a little bit rude. I thought I, I could start off the quest like that. But okay. Uh, go to the main Acropolis station, right? There's a main quest we need to follow. I legit already got sidetracked. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Oh my god, there's so many quests. Jesus Christ. Um, I mean, I, at least I know how to go to the Aquabus. I guess. No, wait, did I? Um. Um. <laughs> I'm walking in circles. Why did I even go there? Is that not where I need to go? <laughs> What was that about me knowing where to go to the Aquabus? Because obviously I lied. I thought it was the place where we need to go down in the sewer. Where... I'm falling down. That's the sewer. And I'm walking in a... Opposite direction. Fontaine is not quite feeling like home so far. Because I don't know where to go. In any way. Anyways, we're gonna meet some new characters today. I'm very excited. That's how you go there. You just need to teleport and then everything's gonna be easier. If you don't know how to do things on your own, I'm gonna call the lift. The lift is being lifted up. Call lift. I'm impatient, the lift is running. It better be sprinting now. The lift is running. Give me that. Uh, I'm impatient. Oh. Thank god. Uh, where, where, how do I know where I need to go? The second floor, I guess. Oh, I don't wanna go down, I wanna go up. Oh, I need to go down. Okay, this, this may have been right, okay. Now you're telling me to go higher? Oh. Oh, there she is! <gasps> She's so pretty! New waifu alert! Hello there. Girl with really beautiful hair. Brown, not purple though, my mistake. I thought it was dark purple or black. She's gonna be a 5 star, I heard. Uh, Miss Chiori? You know, I was scared she's gonna be a 4 star. <sighs> Your talk with the investor sure went fast. Ooh. The Aquabus hasn't even arrived yet. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful! Oh my god, I'm already simping. I'm sold. Oh? And who oh are my god, they? hello there. Ah, uh, allow hair? me to introduce you. This is the Traveler and Paimon. You free later on, huh? Pleased to meet you. Oh my god, pleased to meet you too. Likewise! We've heard the owner of Chioriya Boutique is a skilled seamstress. So it's a real pleasure to finally meet you in person. The way Navia's wardrobe comes together is really exceptional. <laughs> Why, thank you. I strove to create an outfit that matched her high social station as the demoiselle. Oh, she's beautiful! So tell me, what happened? I can tell the conversation didn't go quite as expected. Beautiful. Ah, well, it's like this. Yeah, no one cares about you right now. But you can talk your story, I guess. No one's stopping you. I want to hear it too, though. <sighs> Not allowed to hear anything. I know, I know, Chiori, you don't have to say it. You did remind me that this investor was a little bit sketchy. Yes, there's no doubt about that. But how could I pass it up? <laughs> he offered me twice as much as the others. And therein lies the problem. She's so pretty. Yes, but just put yourself in my shoes. After obtaining such an excellent script, it's only natural that I would want to make the most of the film. The budgets that the others had proposed were nowhere near enough. It's difficult to find someone willing to front such a large amount of Mora, so... So... Don't be sad, Xavier. We might be able to help scrounge up some more together for you. 
Oh, thank you, Paimon. That means a lot to me. But the cost of the film is staggering. I'm afraid that any Mora we can scrounge together in a short amount of time won't even be able to cover the actor's fees. We need to move on. What's happened has already happened, and there's no changing it. But now's not the time to give up. What? You're saying that you have a plan? Mm -hmm. What is going on? No, that's not what I mean. I'm simply saying I wouldn't give up just yet. <laughs> the actors I recommended aren't just after Mora, after all. Aww. Loading screen. Loading screen. Save me. Oh my god, the guy I just pulled. Oh my god, my waifu. Why am I. Ugh, I knew she was gonna be here. Uh, really? Then where do you live? Wait. We Malazines live in Mary Sea Village. The only way to enter is from underwater. Oh, I've never been there. Is that the same skin Ayaka has worn in the previous oh, event as well? You must be pretty tired it is. Work every day, right? I mean, you have to swim all that way just to go It's the home. first time we see someone wearing their skin again in the game, because I thought it was going to be a new one. You're so thoughtful. But some Melusines choose to live in the Court of Fontaine because it's so much more convenient. I'm not on auto play. Why are you auto playing? <laughs> Why am I surprised Ayato's here? He literally has Mrs. a banner Arstall. right now. Just like you and Mia. <laughs> oh, we've arrived. But I haven't even finished chatting with Abel yet. I also enjoyed Abel's introductions to Fontaine along the way. Everything you described was so clear and detailed that we can't help but want to hear oh, more. Look at my wifey. Oh my god. Thank you so much. I'm usually working here on this aqua bus, so I hope I'll have the chance to see you again. There are still many more places I'd like to introduce to you. <laughs> to me too, please. I don't know where anything is. I don't know anything about Fontaine. <laughs> there she is. Welcome to the court of Fontaine. <sighs> Chiori. You sure have changed a lot. This is the first time we've seen you since you left Inazuma. Oh, she's so gorgeous. I haven't realized it's been so long. I was in such a rush when I left that I didn't even get to say goodbye. Thank you for extending the invitation, Mr. Xavier. I'm looking forward to a fruitful trip here in Fontaine. Look who's here. Oh, it's an honor to have the head of the Kamisato clan visit us. So they are who you meant when you said you had actors coming from Inazuma? <laughs> oh? It's the Traveler and Paimon! <laughs> wow, what a coincidence! Ayaka and I were just talking about you on the way here! Are you also here for the book? Yeah, whatever. We just ran into Xavier earlier and came over with him! You're just ghosting you and me whenever she talks to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not an actress. I'm a married man! So Kamisato <laughs> and Lady Ayaka are the real actors here. I'm just tagging along with Ayaka to have a good time together. No one cares. I thought I would also always get the lead role. <laughs> uh, about that, I mean, how was I supposed to contact you when I was making preparations for the film? I figured you were probably busy and I didn't want to disturb you. Yeah. So I could only keep you in the back of my mind while I sought other actors to play the lead roles in the film. <laughs> I had been thinking about a surprise reunion with you during our trip here, but you still managed to surprise me first. Oh, so you all know each other already! <laughs> My, what a coincidence! What are the chances everyone could be brought together here like this? Why don't we go to Hotel de Boer and catch up over a meal? I've already made a reservation! Huh? Did you reserve two spots for us too? Yes, of course, of course. I'll be sure to tell the boss to serve a few more delicious dishes just to make sure there'll be enough food. <laughs> Very well. Then please, kindly lead the way, Mr. Xavier. Kindly lead the way, Mr. Xavier. Why is this quest so long? Why is there so many subquests in there? Wow! Buildings in Fontaine are so tall. Just look at how big they are. It's really beautiful. And there's the fountain that Abel mentioned earlier. It really is a magnificent. Sight. Why am I surprised? I've been here before. <laughs> I've spawned here a couple of times. And look uh, at that huge spinning sphere. Where does it get its power? <gasps> Wait a sec. Could it be one of those clockwork mecha we've heard so much about? I guess so. I won't know. Ah, uh, the quest is wet in the hood to the where now? 
<laughs> Why the quest location is currently involved in the request? Please check the details. Wait, what is that? Okay, go to the hotel, the board. Go to the Discord hotel. I'm going to there. I'm trying to. I'm trying to find my way over there. Oh no, I hate when I have to like do multiple quests in one episode because then everything is like not structured. <laughs> where, where, where's that hotel? How do I get there? I'm gonna take this one with me. A reward on the road. Um, is this the hotel? Because I can't enter. <laughs> do, I, do I just have to climb? <laughs> Seriously? Is that how we access it? That's gonna be a different way. Not everyone has to climb up there, right? And there's probably stairs somewhere. It should be fine. Uh, sure who are you? Wait, that's the reputation thingy, right? Oh my god, and she looks just like Taylor Swift too. Oh my god. A good newspaper should be a lighthouse of truth. Big reputation. How do where do you mean I need to go even higher? I thought I was already high enough when I was there. <laughs> I'm already high enough. <laughs> but apparently I'm not. Um There's the hotel. Okay, cool. Time to do every quest at once, I guess. If that's how it goes, Genshin Impact. I would just like to follow the event story because the event is ending in 10 days and I'm not here on the holidays. God damn it. Oh man. I'm wondering how long the event's been going. Like, what was the total time for it? Like, I don't know, 16 days, I guess? I came Maybe. here several times with my father when I was little, but stopped eating here as often after growing up. I hope the food here will be to your taste. Oh, don't worry. We haven't eaten at a hotel like this in a while. <laughs> Paimon's getting excited already! Oh, in that case, I'll go order for us first. Please wait here a moment. Are we gonna get some more macarons? I didn't read though. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Food. Everything looks so good! People in Fontaine sure know how to enjoy life! Why, of course! Go ahead, try whatever you like. If the food's good, I'll make a group reservation for the rest of Spina di Rosula next time. And if it's not? Well, uh, <laughs> then I'll still bring everyone. Albeit with only one dish per table. <laughs> you, uh, sure have your own way of doing things. Oh, we called this a farewell meal, but we could also treat it like a victory feast, right? We did just win that case after all. Uh, certainly worth celebrating, yep. Yeah. Oh, true. Very true. In that case, boss, we'll have another two dishes. Huh? Paimon didn't mean that you had to order even more food. <laughs> Speaking of cases, do you think that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances will get caught soon now that this has all happened? Well, we've certainly taken a big step forward, but I feel that's about it. We know that there's an organization that means to dissolve these young women, but we still don't know what they are really after. Hmm. If it hadn't happened right in front of us, Paimon wouldn't have ever believed that a person could be dissolved like yeah, that. Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yet it was because this was such a preposterous notion that the investigation could never really move forward before. Ugh. If only that guy could have finished speaking! We were so close to hearing who was behind it. In such investigations, even the smallest step can seem like a yawning chasm if the trail of clues is cut off. To be honest, I don't have high hopes for any follow-up that the authorities might conduct. It's not that I don't have faith in their ability, it's just that a different perspective is required in some matters. It's easy to guard against and deceive a single narrow perspective. A shift in thinking is required at such times in order to produce a breakthrough. Which is exactly why the Spina di Rosula exists. Those highfalutin folk are not all-knowing. That's why we exist. To seep into the cracks where filth falls through. Where their watch fails them. That's the kind of problems we solve. Hmm. Seems Paimon thought things were simpler than they actually are. <laughs> As always. <sighs> it's alright. 
Well, <laughs> this was supposed to be a farewell meal. So I doubt you have further interest in this business, right? I actually want to do the quest Let's now. <laughs> talk about something else. Like, uh, what are your future plans? I want to be a model. No, I don't know. We wanted to ask the Hydroarchon for some information about my sister. Yeah, I keep forgetting that's the actual story of the game because we never bring that up. That's true. We didn't have a chance to speak to her after the trial. She wanted to jail me. It didn't really seem like the right time or place to do it anyway. Yeah. Hmm. I see. So... Your primary objective, which has been foiled so far, was to have a chat with the Hydro Archon. I've heard that there's a long line of people waiting to meet Lady Farina. I suspect you'll be waiting for quite a while. Oh, damn it. Considering that you missed your chance today. Yeah, we've heard that she's super popular here in Fontaine, and that it'll be tough getting any of her time. Hmm. Well, would you consider some more, uh, unique ways? Perhaps even methods of, uh, let's say, questionable legality? What are you up to? Yes, that's been a de Rosula's bus for you. Chock full of sketchy ideas. Well, what did you have in mind? Well, one way would be to infiltrate a performance troupe at the Opera House, only to abandon your act at the play's climax and ask to speak to her after the performance. I'm sure Lady Farina would be eager to see the ending, and would agree in order to finish watching the play, don't you think? Uh, could you suggest something a little more practical? This plan seems pretty hard to pull off. We'd have to go learn how to act, and acting's really hard. <laughs> <sighs> All right, here's another. Find a way to conceal yourselves under her bed. Then wake her up in the dead of night and demand answers. Don't let her go back to sleep until she answers all your questions. I can personally testify that this one works. When I'm sleepy, I'll do anything as long as I can finally get some sleep. Uh, that might work, but that's not really the problem. The problem is we don't want to get ourselves arrested. Ah, valid point. I overlooked that part. I was just thinking about leveraging a person's desire for sleep. Can you overlook something like that? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, no more joking around. Huh, perhaps you could... Oh, I don't know. Cut the line when she's on a break. You did defeat her in court, clearing citizens of hers from false accusations. False accusations she had nearly upheld personally. I imagine that she feels quite ashamed about the whole thing. You mean that if we catch her while she's on a break, she might be too embarrassed to refuse? Oh, that does make some sense. Someone with her personality really feels shame. That's a valid question, to be real. Why don't we give it a try after this meal? You know, strike while the iron is hot and all. Huh? Paimon, did you drink my Fanta? Fanta. Uh, <laughs> was this your drink? People drinking Fanta and Fontaine. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry about that. Paimon wasn't really paying attention and the cup was right next to Paimon. Would you like to order another? No, it's fine. We're just about done here. What do you mean it was directly next to Paimon? There's like five foot between them. Alright. Honestly, Paimon wouldn't recommend Fanta anyway. It tastes kind of salty and icky. Drink also tasted that way too. I'd have to agree. <laughs> Genshin? Did you like try to call up a Fanta and they didn't want to? Or what's the shade here? Is that so? Huh. Well, in that case, we'll have to blacklist the Fanta here then. <laughs> what's with the Fanta shade? If we're all finished eating, then I'll go pay. I mean, I don't like I don't like sweet drinks either. But <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, we're stuffed. Thanks for the treat, Navia. That was random. That was very that caught me off guard. Not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, Genshin does not like Fanta. But can I um get back to the event now? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Alright, I'm gonna have to complete the whole Fontaine Archon quest first. Uh, could be something very likely to happen. You know the game, and so do I. Oh, so full. Paimon can barely float anymore. I hope you noticed I just Rick rolled you. Okay, sorry. You could try walking, you know. <laughs> Imagine Paimon, that would be so cursed. Oh, uh, Paimon already reminds me of Anya from Spike's family. Nah, that would be so... normal. You know, 
like you. Can Paimon even, even walk or is she like a baby who doesn't know how to use her feet actually? Like she's just like trying to walk and then just stumbles and falls down. Hmm. Okay. As for expenses this month, we're left with... Hey, Navia! What are you doing over there? Oh, nothing, nothing. It was just a meal, you know? Nothing the Spina di Rosula can't cover. <laughs> so that was pretty tough for her, huh? <sighs> Let's get ready to try to meet the Hydro Archon again. Bye, Navia! <sighs> so this is goodbye, huh? Well, if you do encounter any other trouble in Fontaine, you're always welcome to contact the Spina di Rosula. I'll give your requests the highest priority. Hey. Uh, in any case, I wish you smooth sailing. I'll see you again, partner. See ya! Okay, but I actually have to get back to the event now. Uh, no, no, not start it, not start. I don't want to start anything. I don't want to start anything. I just want to... Go to quest. Oh, hell yeah, I can go back. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Cause you know, the trial already took like almost three hours and I couldn't end that. So I don't want to go get into the main quest too far. Mm, so this is what food from Montaigne is like. Oh, it sure is different from what we have in Inazuma. How should I describe it? It seems like you have to go through a lot more uh, steps to make them. And the flavor has many layers too. Ah, uh, yes. When I first went to Inazuma, I actually thought the food there tasted a little too bland. It took some time for me to get used to it. Let's get back to the purpose of this trip for a moment, shall we? How have preparations for the film been coming along, Mr. Xavier? I'm sorry, but he's so boring. <laughs> I know he's on my team right now, but he's so boring. Well, I've already assembled most of the film crew. A lighting specialist, a prop manager, and a costume designer. I've also bought the copyrights from the novel's author. Oh, it's called The Two Musketeers, right? I read the script you sent me on the way here. The story is pretty good. Originally, I was planning to start filming as soon as Sir Kamisato and Lady Ayaka arrived in Fontaine, but uh, I'm afraid I've run into a bit of a problem. Oh? What is it? It has to do with the film's investor, Mr. Morris. He suddenly informed me this morning that he's encountered some financial trouble and will be unable to release to me the amount of funding agreed upon. It's said that Fontaine's legal system is well developed. If he has violated the contract, then can't you simply take him to court over the matter? Ah, well, I'm still more concerned about filming. Even if I were to take him to court, I'm afraid it would take months before the case could even be heard. Then, is there a way we could raise funds ourselves to solve the problem? I've considered that option too, but unfortunately it's difficult to gather such a large amount of mora on such short notice. Besides, we have to consider the film festival's submission deadline. Hmm. Mr. Xavier, if Ayaka and I were willing to perform for free, for free, would that resolve the problem you are currently facing? What? Uh, no, out of the question. To have you come all this way just to act for free? Oh, no, 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 that won't do. There's no need to worry, Mr. Xavier. My brother and I had actually intended to work for free after receiving your invitation. Mm -hmm. Inazuma has only recently reopened its borders and needs to strengthen its relations and cultural ties with other nations. We didn't have many collaboration projects with Fontaine in the past, so we hoped this trip would serve as a good start for the future. Indeed. You could say that's the real reason why the Ashiro Commission agreed to come to Fontaine. I understand, but having you two act for free just doesn't seem right. Not at all. While we're officially here to conduct a cultural survey of sorts, we must express our sincerity if we want to establish formal cultural ties with your nation. This film will serve as proof of friendly cooperation and cultural exchange between Inazuma and Fontaine. It's my hope that the film can be finished and released as smoothly as possible. If you still don't feel comfortable with this arrangement, I would also be more than happy to be introduced to some other renowned individuals in Fontaine's literary and artistic circles. Uh, uh, all right. I'll do as you say. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll make sure to cobble together enough Mora now, even if it means selling my house, my camera, and every single family heirloom. <laughs> Come on now. No need to go that far. 
I'll also help you out as a brand sponsor. You can help too, I mean, I have to anyways. Me too! <laughs> Even though I didn't bring much more to spend on this trip, it's still better than nothing. You are too kind, all of you. I... I really don't know how to... <laughs> Ugh, all right, enough about that. Now that we have Xavier's savings, my support, and two leads who are willing to act for free, I think we will be able to make this happen. Her voice sounds familiar, and I know I say this every time we get introduced to new characters. So, instead of Mora, you'll help with filming and production. Oh, but how can we help with that? We don't know much about making a film. All right. Pull yourself together, Xavier. Tell us if there are still any open positions left among the crew. Uh, oh, uh, all right. Uh, let me think. We still need a camera operator, a clapper loader, and someone to manage logistics. I thought they just meant like a clapper. Someone who's like standing in the audience and claps in case anyone else, everyone else is not feeling the play. So at least someone's giving like standing ovation. I originally wanted to personally serve as director, but I've been too busy working as the producer. So the positions of director and director's assistant will also need to be filled. Paimon knows what the director and the logistics support person do, but what's a clapper loader? The clapper loader is responsible for using the clapper board to record and organize the information of each shot when the camera operator begins shooting. The work requires both patience and careful attention to detail. Why do I feel like I have to do this gameplay voice now? A clapper board? Oh, you mean the thing they hold that goes clap whenever they start filming? Yep. Yes, that's right. Are you interested in that job? For sure, Paimon's always wanted to try that. <laughs> All right, then you'll be our clapper loader. I can find someone from the store to help with logistics. What do you think, Xavier? Oh, fine by me. As for our camera operator, I was thinking of letting the traveler take the role. Yay, I like, I like being a photographer. How do you know? Oh, he's great when it comes to using a camera. <laughs> Paimon can't even count how many things we've taken photos of during our journey. I actually always wanted to become a photographer. <laughs> Yes, that's also what I was thinking. I noticed the Traveler had an eye for photography and composition when we worked together previously. Thank you. I'm sure that's due to the Traveler's journey across Devat and all the places I've seen. After so many adventures, using a camera must be second nature by now. Oh, they them pronouns. Cute. <laughs> what do you say, Traveler? Are you interested in the job? Traveler non-binary? As long as I'll be able to... <laughs> Lights, camera, action! Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. I forgot how the Sonic soundtrack goes. Oh no! Studiopolis zone, I failed you. Thank you, it really means a lot to me. Come on, friend. Let me give you a big warm uh, hug. Kind of scared of... So, uh. all that's left for us to find is a director and an assistant. He actually kind of jumped and scared me. That's like burst and FNAF. Oh, me, me, me. I want to be the director's assistant. All we need to do is help the director, right? I can handle that. What was that weird... Uh, which FNAF game was that with the very weird, like... I think it was Springtrap. Who was, like, just occasionally, like, walking towards you very slow. Was that... I think that was FNAF 3. <laughs> that that jump scare wasn't jump scaring. Alright, then all we need is a director. Oh, all the well-known directors in Fontaine are probably also busy working on their own films these days. I'm not sure who will have time to help. Oh, Farina helped out a theater troupe recently by serving as an artistic consultant. She could be a good director, right? Besides, it's not like she has anything else to do right <laughs> now. Okay, so as far as the main quest goes, I guess Farina kind of ended up jobless. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Farina? Yeah, same. I'd be scared too. Uh, do you really think Lady Farina would be willing to help us with our humble project? Isn't that the name of Fontaine's Hydro Archon? My brother has already informed me about what happened here in I Fontaine. don't want to hear it. Yep, that's her! She helped out a theater troupe not too long ago, and now she's taking up work as a director! Well, uh... Oh, I saw that musical. Her performance was perfect, and the storyboards were also excellent. Don't let her form or identity intimidate you. She is the best candidate we can think of right now. You'll never know until you give her a shot. Fine, you're right, Chiori. I'll do anything for the sake of my film. Anything! 
Oh, then I'll have to ask the Traveler and Paimon to show me the way to Lady Farina's residence. I just hope she'll agree to help. Do you need us to also come along? No, there's no need to trouble you with this. Besides, you've just arrived in Fontaine, and I'm sure there are many places you would like to visit. Just leave this task to me. It's part of my duties as the producer. Very well. Then we'll be waiting to hear the good news. I'll go with you. By the way, you might want to consider bringing a gift. <laughs> and don't worry, we won't simply drop you off at Farina's place. We know Farina pretty well by now, so having some familiar faces there should help your chances. Besides, the whole thing was our idea in the first place. All right, then I'll start making preparations. As for the gift... Hmm... A gift for someone who was once seen as the Hydra Archon. I wonder what she would so like. So they just don't have any Archon right now? What's going on? I recall that Lady Farina once fancied a clockwork ring. So perhaps I should get another exquisite clockwork contraption for her. Huh? Can't we just bring some desserts like the Fontanelia mousse? Hmm, but wouldn't that be a little too cheap? She does like desserts, though. Isn't the Fontanelia Festival happening right now? I heard Avel tell us on the Aquabus that Farina introduced the tradition of going door to door and asking for sweets. Yeah, I heard that too. To do something like that, she must have a real sweet tooth. I agree with Yoimiya. If the gift is too fancy, it might actually make her feel more uncomfortable. Alright then, let's go buy some Fontanelia mousse! <laughs> Weird transition. <laughs> Someone's been using Capcom. Would that really be enough? We'll be asking her to do a lot of work, you know. Hmm, you're right. We need to further sweeten the deal. Was with the fancy poodle in the background? Huh? You want something even sweeter than Fontanella Moose? Yes. We'll need a gift that's sweeter than any dessert in the How world. How about we try some Fanta? <laughs> well, what could that be? Fanta. Some Sedias. <laughs> Your words of praise. Uh, I could I could still bring some apples. Some Sansedias, some Fanta. Maybe even some Sansedias filled with Fanta. Oh, Fontanelia moves. Go to Farina's department. I don't want to spoil the quest for myself. <laughs> you go ahead. No need to worry about I'm us. I'm not worrying, I just want to spend time with you. Like, look at yourself. Oh, I hope Farina will like the gifts we prepared. Oh, and if you still think we should get something else for her, just let me know. I should be able to make some fireworks. <laughs> it do be a almost New Year's Eve, so okay, you get a pass for that. <laughs> um, I'm scared of spoiling myself. Did I say that? I said that. Looking forward to the good news. Uh, looking forward to spoilers. Oh man, why am I like this? Do I have primal gems? I don't even have primal gems. This is embarrassing. This is indeed a very embarrassing that I don't even have primal gems. Okay, Farina is living in a hotel now. Jesus, what happened? Uh, knock at Snuckles. Um. Are we not meant to be in this building? So, so she's not housing at the hotel. Okay, the more you know, the more you know. Um, Lady Furina, I've only seen you in court. Uh, but I guess I have to talk to you now. I, ca I I'm sorry, I, I can't possibly finish the Archon quest before this. I hardly have time to finish the whole event so yeah this is how things are now I'm not proud of myself that's for sure uh, where do I need to go it's so far away god darn it and I'm just like scared if I would like continue with the main quest it, it wouldn't get me anywhere though Cause the main quest is like, oh, I keep finding chests by accident. The main quest is still is gonna go forever. An answer from this world? And I, um, yeah, you know. Do I get primogems? Do I get primogems? I get primogems, yay. 
What was I gonna say? I was gonna say that um, it's gonna take me forever. I said that before and I don't know what else I wanted to say. But yeah, if I start now, there's just like a high possibility that it's like, oh, you can't leave the area now and you have to finish this and then I'm gonna miss out on the whole event, so that's uh, why we do it that way now. A oh, fancy place. Okay, I'll go knock on the door. Knock, knock. Uh -huh. Who are you? <clears throat> Lady Farina, please allow me to introduce myself. I am Xavier, a film director. Hello. Oh, is that the traveler in Paimon I see behind you? And who's this? I'm Chiori. Ah, oh, the one from Chioria Boutique. Hello, hello. <laughs> so, what are you all doing here? Uh, do you need something? Did you just get up, Farina? It's already past noon, you know. Paimon try to be nice. <laughs> Only in Genshin people get up and look like this. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, I... Uh, uh, Paimon means the weather is so nice in the afternoon and the sun is so warm. Just like how you make us feel. Sleeping in late is a really smart idea. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, no. I was just up late last night reading some novels. Uh, what does sleeping in have to do with the weather? <clears throat> this is a small gift we've prepared for you, Lady Farina. We hope you like it. No need to be so formal. I'm just a regular person like everyone else now. Oh, is this Fontanalia Moose? <laughs> it's one of my favorites. That's great. <laughs> so actually, there's something we need your help with. Given your renowned passion and understanding of drama, I would like to ask that you serve as the director of our film crew. <laughs> your understanding of drama doesn't sound like a comp compliment when you take it out of context. Oh, <laughs> but didn't you just say that you're a director? Yes, but for this particular project, I'm mainly working as a producer. Besides, I'm sure that your understanding of the performing arts far surpasses my own, Lady Farina. Are the Traveler and Paimon also part of the film yep. crew? Yep, we sure are! Paimon's the clapper loader and he's the camera operator! Camera operator? That can be a pretty technical job, and it directly affects the final quality of the film. Are you really up to I can it? I show you if you like. No, I'm not questioning your abilities. It's just that I've never really seen you use a camera before. Oh, trust me, I have. Maybe you can come up with a test for the Traveler and see for yourself! If he can satisfy you with his camera skills, then you'd have nothing to worry about and can join the team! What do you say? Uh, you sure are getting better at rolling with the situation, Paimon. Hmm... Oh, I do wish to see how skilled the Traveler really is with a camera. Alright, how about this? We'll work with what we have. I'll give you some scenarios and see if your work is up to my standards. What are you saying? Very good. It's essential for the camera operator to understand the director's vision. I'll make my decision after seeing your work. Are you ready? I have high standards, you know. I guess I'm ready. Okay. Grab the camera and I'll give you a scenario. Estelle is the boss of Beamworld Workshop and has always been proud of her forging machine, as it cannot only precisely controls change of temperature but also takes no effort from the blacksmith. Let us film a promotional video for her workshop. Remember to emphasize the superiority of a forging machine. What? What? Oh my god. Genshin. Okay. You will need to film several shots according to the director's requirements and compile them into a video. Camera positioning is key and you should assert mm, the camera position requirements beforehand. When filming, there will be narration requirements. Select the most suitable narration according to the story. Try to satisfy all the director's filming requirements. After selecting the most suitable choices for all of the camera positions and narration, you may begin filming and see the results. Uh Okay, I just have to click I just have to click on things. Camera position you need a scene that shows up the Beaumont workshop. 
Okay, then I call a fountain. This one. Next one. Need a scene that shows up the fortune machine at work. Need a scene that shows up the atmosphere as a style works. Relax. Scene that shows up the weapons arranged in boxes produced by the Beaumont Workshop. Weapons arranged in boxes. Camera position, you just seen the shows of the Beaumont Workshop. This one, I guess. And it's done! Located in a color font, the Beaumont Workshop is a weapons workshop that utilizes a forging machine. The machine can precisely control the force applied and the temperature, making it perfect for doing exhausting and time consuming work. Thanks to this machine, the owner of Beaumont Workshop still can comfortably enjoy each day at work. But very not, for the weapons produced by Beaumont Workshop are of outstanding quality, with exquisite craftsmanship and a keen knowledge. If weapons are what you want, look no further than Beaumont! Okay, that's actually interesting. I thought we had to go there and like adjust camera angles all by ourselves. That's why I was like oh, frightened. It appears that you have more skill than I thought. This is just like cutting videos, I guess, which I should also do more often. I did cut a two-hour-long video into a twenty-minute video yesterday. Though I was proud of myself for doing that, right after I recorded. <laughs> All the shots had a great composition, and I could really feel a connection to the characters and their lives. That's the verdict. Yeah! Does that mean you agree to be our director, Farina? <laughs> Did you think I would agree just like that? After our performance of The Little Oceanid, I've begun to make a name for myself again, you know. In fact, I've already had several troops approach me for the Fontanalia Film Festival. Unfortunately, the scripts were all pretty boring and didn't pique my interest. If others were to find out I agreed to work with you so easily, then, well... Hey, but didn't we have a deal? What else do we need to do to convince you, Farina? Uh, well, what about the pay? Huh? You know, how much you're willing to pay me to be the director? The pay is also an important factor for me to consider, you know. That's so random considering she she's the Archon, or like she used to be the Archon, which is like talking like very normal to her. Well, uh I can offer you this much. What? That's all? If Nervulet were to hear of this, he could charge you with underpaying your labor. Also, she kind of reminds me of Nami. <laughs> I'm sorry, but our crew is in a tight financial spot at the moment. I see. Well, even though it's highly unlikely now that I'll join your crew, there's still something I'd like to ask. Exactly what film are you planning to make? Um... Oh, <laughs> oh uh, our script is an adaptation of The Two Musketeers. The, uh, main character is gonna be Child, other main character is gonna be Shongli. Huh? Wait, you mean the suspense thriller novel that was a number one bestseller? Oh, so Farina's read it too. Of course I read it. I've always had a keen interest in artistic works that strike a chord with the populace. I see. It all makes sense now. You must have used most of the budget to pay for the copyright. Uh, not really. The novel's author transferred the copyright to me practically for free once he heard that I wanted to make a film adaptation of the story. The lack of budget is due to another issue. He probably just wants to get his name out there. So, Mora isn't the most important thing to him right now. It reminds me of a delivery courier who wears one of my designs while traveling all across Tavat. I didn't charge her much for the outfit either. The exposure she provides for my brand is well worth it. Uh... So, are you a big fan of this story, Farina? Well, uh, it's alright. The pacing of the story is good, but the character relationships could use some work. When I was reading it before, I always felt like some things were left on a rather unsatisfactory note. I have high standards, you know. Ahem, Mr. Xavier. If, hypothetically speaking, I agree to be the director, 
How much freedom would I have in terms of script revisions and creative interpretation? Uh, oh! Oh, as much freedom as you would need. <laughs> I wouldn't dare doubt the tastes of Fontaine's greatest star. Mm -hmm. Good. Then I'm free to alter the script as I see fit. Absolutely, no problem. I'm counting on you, I guess. <laughs> Last chance to make a film that you love. Oh. It seems that your crew really can't go on without my care and direction. So, you agree? Yes, I agree. Although the pay is well below what someone of my caliber deserves. A great script calls for a great director. I mustn't let a perfectly good story be ruined due to lack of funds. If you have fine cheese and bread, you wouldn't just let it sit on the counter and get moldy just because you lack an oven, right? Oh, Hydro Archon above! I'm not dreaming, am I? Somebody pinch me. There's no more Hydro Archon, you know. And it's still a little early to celebrate. There's a lot that goes into shooting a film. Although the trickiest tasks of finalizing the script and casting the actors have already been taken care of, we'll still need to reserve filming locations. Not to say, set up lighting and props. And uh, by the way, since we'll be filming the two musketeers, we'll need to find an action choreographer. <laughs> Ideally, a professional who has actual experience with muskets. What do I think of child? Yes, I've thought about <laughs> this as well. I was hoping that you might know someone who could handle the job. Oh, maybe Chef Rousey or whatever her name is. Me? Chef Roulette. Hmm. If this was before, I could have simply asked Glorand, but it's already been some time since I last talked to her. Navia can also use firearms, but unfortunately, her style is quite different from that of the characters in the story. Could we ask the Special Security and Surveillance Patrol? Oh, you mean the Special Patrol's Musketeers? Yes, that's right. They work with muskets every day. I can't think of anyone more qualified than that. That's where we meet Purple Girl. They would be under Nervilette's jurisdiction. Purple Guy, oh my god. Unfortunately, I, uh, uh, don't have any connection with them at all. Hmm. So, in the end, we still have to start by talking to Nervilette. No need to go to all that trouble. I know their Captain Chevrus. Chevrus, that's how you say their guy, Chetroulette. <laughs> oh, uh. you do? Wait, Chiori, how do you know the captain of the Special Patrol's Musketeers? No particular reason. Running a business means dealing with some trouble from time to time, and she's helped me out on a few occasions. In return, I've helped her handle a few situations in which the Special Patrol couldn't get involved directly. So, we've gotten to know each other over time. Uh, so you're saying there's been times when the Special Patrol needed a fashion designer to handle a situation? Your work is becoming more and more mysterious. It'd be best to keep it that way. Anyway, enough about that. What do you all think about asking the captain to be our musket action choreographer? She sounds professional enough. She is a captain after all. <laughs> I have no objections. But I imagine the special security and surveillance patrol must be busy with their duties. Do you think she'd really have time to help with shooting a film? And then there's the issue of pay. Well, it just so happens that she's also not the kind of person that's just after Mora. As for whether she has time, I'll have to go and ask her first. Then I'll leave that to you. Macaroni's on sale today, so I've got to go. You can just tell me how things went when we discuss tomorrow's plan later. No problem. <laughs> Having Farina join feels like a big boost to our team. <laughs> of course. Just wait until the day of our premiere. You'll witness the true power of my name in these lands. <laughs> You'll be so glad I agreed to help. I can guarantee that even the standing tickets will be sold out. Does she still have reputation, though? I'll be sure to ask some people I know to see if they'd be willing to act as extras. <laughs> Seems like you're finally getting more comfortable with your own reputation now. Big reputation. Big reputation. Oh, you I didn't me. ask for the Clapper Loader's commentary, Paimon. Can't wait to see your film's premiere. Then let's get going. I happen to know where Chevrus is today. Yeah, me too. I've seen her. <laughs> By the way, I'm curious. 
If my pay is so low, then what about our two lead actors? Didn't they travel here all the way from Inazuma? Actually, they told us that they see the trip as part of a cultural exchange, so they didn't ask for any pay. What? So is every person in Tavat who doesn't want money gathered here to shoot this film? Don't tell me Chiori isn't being paid either. <laughs> I already knew Xavier from before, and he's also agreed to give my brand some good exposure. It seems the gods have really smiled upon you, Xavier. And that certainly doesn't include me, mind you. It's gonna be so weird going back to the main quest and then having to, like, <laughs> take her serious. Oh, books. Give me. Besides the macaroni, I should also pick up some tomato sauce. <laughs> I've seen, like, on Twitter there was, like, a post going viral of, like, someone posting a picture of macarons and then, like, writing something about macaroni about it and then it was like a person quilt retweeting it and it was like just very mad it was like macaroni macaroni how dare you call the, those macarons uh, the italian name of noodles or something like that i don't know it was written in french but like you know there's a translate button underneath it and i just thought it was so funny because like i couldn't understand what it oh there's charlotte you know i couldn't understand what it said and someone like isn't that Someone quoted it with a picture of Sanji, and I was like, yeah, that's something he would do. Why is Charlotte here now? I thought the quest I need to go to was like still 200 meters away. Who's your friend, and what are they chatting Did about? Did I walk into a another quest? Be pleased with the cherry on top, Charlotte. Journalist extraordinaire. Please tell me you're joking. I read that a gang of criminals tricked the Gardamax by disguising themselves as blubber beasts. It's true, isn't it? It has to be! I've invested all my savings into Graph Adversarial Technology and even taken out a sizable bank loan! I'm begging you! Begging you like the beggiest beggar in all of Begdom! <laughs> I need you to calm down a little, Miss Lapine, Pauline. I admire your passion for your research, and I don't mean to dash your hopes for those, um, big ticket That's orders. That's a busy day in Fontaine. What did I just walk in on? But, I'm afraid I'm not joking. The Blubber Beast incident was a short story mailed to us by an anonymous amateur author, written in the style of a true story. Short story? And for uh, why, why does this matter now? Hmm. It sounds like they're just discussing a story, but why does this Miss Lapine Pauline seem so distressed? Funnily enough, I actually remember being in a meeting where the editing team was debating the potential risk of misleading the public with this story. They even went to Maison Guardianage for advice. But to our surprise, they fully supported us printing it. They figured that the false intel would be a great way to dupe potential criminals into wearing ridiculous costumes when breaking the law. In truth, Gardamex are extremely sophisticated in their capabilities. They can identify criminals just as reliably as the best human guards, so a crude disguise isn't going to get you far. If anything, it'll just make you stand out all the more. Since we ran that story, the Maison Guardianage has made a slew of arrests, including, uh, one phantom blubber beast, a titanic red crown finch, and a specter man. So I knew this story had helped out law enforcement, but this is the first time I'm learning of an innocent citizen being deceived by it, and investing so much Mora for nothing. <laughs> what is going on? Uh-oh. She really sounds like she's in pain. Um, Pina thinks we should just ask Charlotte what's going on. Hey, Charlotte! Hey. What is going on? <laughs> Traveler! Paimon! It's uh. you! I was in the area taking some photos for a story when I got to talking to Miss Lapine Pauline about her research. She read an article in the Steambird about a criminal who evaded Gardamek detection by disguising themselves as a blubber beast. Inspired by this story, she spent a lot of more on researching counter-criminal image recognition technology. Her aim was to improve Fontaine's public security by developing a device that could enhance Gardamek's target recognition capabilities. She was hoping I could write an article to spread awareness about image recognition technology. She even paid me for the article and gave me one of her prototype devices before I could get a word in. But unfortunately, it was just a fictional story, and her efforts and aspirations were all in vain. I tried to let her down gently, but she's finding it all very hard to accept. This is a new situation for us, too. It's such a pity. 
It seems like the author was only trying to make the story interesting. And the Maison Guardianage only had Fontaine's best interest in mind. No one's fault. Wait, Miss Lapine Pauline, what are you doing? I'm gonna pick a fight with a Gardamech, head to the opera at Bicles, and get a one-way ticket to the Fortress of Meropee. Um. That way, I won't have to repay my debts. It's the only way I can afford to keep on living. Whoa, there's no need to go that far. I mean, come on, look at you. You wouldn't even dent the Gardamech's armor. In all likelihood, they'd only hold you up at the Maison Guardianage for a few days before letting you out, and then you'd still have to repay your debts. Actually, instead of going into the technicalities of that, how much did you actually invest? How bad can it really be? <laughs> 270,000 Mora. Okay, well, escaping to the Fortress of Meripede over a sum like that seems like a last resort. Surely there must be other options. Not anymore. I used to be an equipment supplier to the Fontaine Research Institute before that blew to pieces, and now I'm just a small-time engineer. I scraped together some savings over the past few years, but I put every last mora into this project, and now I'm left with nothing. It's not just my savings that are gone, it's my whole future as a graph adversarial technology specialist and my dreams of becoming a billionaire one day. <laughs> <laughs> My life is over. Don't despair, Miss Lapine Pauline. I think I know a way for you to turn this around. This prototype you've given me, the camera lens for image recognition sample collection. It's really quite something. You said you designed it specifically for high fidelity image capture and analysis, yes? The rapid focal length adjustment is a very useful function in its own right. It's sure to make many journalists' jobs much easier. In fact, I'd say it has the potential to revolutionize Fontaine's news media. So your research efforts thus far are by no means in vain. The technology you've developed may have many applications that you've never even considered. <sighs> really? What is this? Why is it taking so long? I was gonna end the video. <laughs> Absolutely. I've been working as a journalist for the Steambird for a long time now. No one understands the issues we journalists face on a day-to-day -day basis better than me. So keep calm. Take heart and start thinking about mass production. In the meantime, I'll show your invention to all my colleagues to drum up interest in your product. I can't believe it. If this is true, then I can look into setting up a whole camera lens development pipeline. My big ticket orders and billionaire aspirations are still in the cards. Oh, maybe I should consider taking out another loan. That way, I can rapidly improve the lens production process, be the first to market, and prepare to battle for dominance in the camera industry. Come on! Stop daydreaming about your pipelines <laughs> for a minute. Just take it one step at a time and see how it goes. There's no sense in putting all your eggs in one basket before things are even off the ground. Slow and steady one stories. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I can probably speak to some people I know and license my image recognition device to a workshop to raise some funds. I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. There's no time to lose. I need to get to work. Early bird gets the worm. Uh, can you believe her? She just ran off. Paimon's pretty sure our advice went in one ear and out the other. It's understandable. When inspiration and passion strike at the same time, it's all too easy to throw yourself headfirst into your work and forget about everyone around you. But don't you worry. I'm gonna write an article on all this and I'll be checking in on her regularly. Her research has the potential to benefit the entire journalistic community. I'll give her plenty of input to stop her from going down any rabbit holes and make sure mass production of her lens can begin as soon as possible. I just googled. Apparently it's a world quest. Since when can you trigger world quests without talking to anyone? It's reassuring to know that you'll be looking out for her, Charlotte. Mm. Actually, you know what? Why don't you two take this mm. prototype lens? I'm sure you'll have plenty of chances to use it on your if travels. If it's for free, I'll take it. If, if it comes with a quest, I won't. It takes the right person to get the most out of a new technology. In your hands, it's sure to capture some amazing sights. Thanks a lot, Charlotte. What a nice surprise. We were just curious about what you guys were talking about. Totally didn't expect to get a free gift out of it. You're welcome. I got something out of this too. The beginnings of a very interesting news story. The boundaries between real news reports and news like fiction must not be blurred, even when there's a compelling justification for doing so. 
Yes, that's how I'll phrase it to the editors when I give them my feedback. Let's hope we don't mislead any more well-meaning citizens in the future. Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess. After activating the special analyzes zoom lens through the inventory of the gadget shortcut bar, you can use your camera to use a special photo taking function. After Charlotte activates the sketch, the original effects of framing, freezing point, composition, hold mode cannot take effect, but you can use special methods to take photos. No idea what that means. I mean, I wanted to talk to uh, Chevreus, but I guess we can't do that anymore now. <laughs> because the video is already so long. I have no idea what just happened. Like, wh what? Uh, that was very confusing. There, there was a lot going on. Very unexpected. What is this? Oh, this looks cool. Collect 400 theater tickets. What can I buy? Things that I don't even know. Festive event. What's this? Into the unknown. Those are the mini games. I'm just gonna start off one of the mini games before we continue, uh, before we end the video. Um, yeah, and then I'm gonna see if I can do the mini games off screen. If if those are mini games, I don't know what it is. Could also be a quest or something. Lower. Okay, over there. Hello there. Please be voice acted. Oh. <laughs> My Turanian guests, you're finally here! You must be the legendary adventures of Tarot and Rising Superstars, Yarki and Paimon. That's, uh, that's also right. Certainly, while known amongst the adventures killed, the superstars of Tarot perhaps just slightly over the top. After all, there are still many people out there who, that haven't heard of us. Yeah, for example, in the nations where we haven't been yet. Paimon feels like everyone we've met come, met will come straight up. With such flooding, it's up asking us to do something for them. Yeah, I'm used to it by now. Oh, with it then, what do you want? No, 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 no. I don't want anything from you. I simply wanted to put forward a win win proposal. Join forces with me, Fontaine's most solid expert. Why do I sound like Mickey Mouse right now? Experimental film director, oh yeah, to become the next big star of the big screen. Oh boy, once you've made it, money collections are all yours. Wherever you go and touch, no one will dare to stand in your way, and you'll find yourself walking down an endless red carpet rolled out just for you. But I like it when people stand in my way. <laughs> but we don't even have much experience acting on camera. If it were true that we could get famous just by collaborating with you, then why aren't you already a super famous director, huh? Where are all the other stars that you've worked with? Oh, it's all right through me. If only someone would set up a special training school for actors, I need someone who not only knows how to fight, but also how to control either express their expressions and inject emotion into their lines. In short, I need someone who can do it all. But such genius simply doesn't exist so far I've only finished playing the regular acting parts of my avant-garde production. I haven't even started on the action scenes, let alone finished my first film. I'm worried that I'll have to resort to time playing student stunt doubles, so that's why you two are such perfect candidates. You want us to shoot the fighting scene? You've hit the nail on the head, it's the perfect solution to having actors who can't fight. We're pretty good at fighting, but won't people be able to tell that we're not the same people just by looking at our faces? In theory, yes, but the action scenes are absolutely central to my experimental production. If you do a good enough job, I'll make the regular acting scenes into silhouette shots that wasn't even many lines to begin with. <laughs> I'll make the other actors cake themselves in makeup and adjust the silhouettes so they fit your profile. With a bit of lighting magic, no one will even know the difference. <laughs> Normally, it's the other way around. But okay. And the way the recollectors would actually be your doubles anyway, they aren't as well known as you two. I'll even pay you royalties. So basically, if we help you, we'll be handed the staring rose in a play just like that? You'll also receive a large payment and it'll do wonders for your reputation. Then it really does sound like it'll pay off. What do you say? What persons that you choose the opportunity? Thank you so much for lending a hand for the dream to come true. Without further ado, please head over to my experimental studio right away. There will be four fighting scenes in the film, each with a completely different ambience. Each scene will also have its very own special lighting. When the special lighting comes on, an action will intensify in lines with the corresponding places in the script. Blah 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 blah. Uh. Um. Oh. Okay. Teleportation, I guess. But. Uh. Trick shots, tricky lights, defeat opponents that endlessly appear from the time limit to score points. Once the challenge is over, metal will be distributed based on your score. Defeating enemies during the challenge will accumulate progress towards special lighting. Once ready, use it at the right time to receive a temporary yet powerful combat buff. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna do this with two characters to be story accurate. 
normally I would just have to do this with one character. I actually didn't expect him to let me choose characters because I thought it was going to be like, you have to do this by playing the Traveler because he's a stuntman. So now I have the Traveler and my wifey. For 12 seconds after using Alicia Hydra Shockwave. Okay. Level 40 enemies? Oh, you got nothing on me. You got nothing on me. Do you think there's like people who are like soloing the whole game by only playing Traveler? Like walking around with just one person in their team doing domains and boss fights with just one person. You're doing Spiral Abyss with just one person on your team. <laughs> Wouldn't work because you got two halves and uh, can't use the same character twice. Can you even do that? Can you go into Spiral Abyss with less than four people in one team? I've never even tried that because like... I, first of all, I never played Spiral Abyss. Second of all, I sure as hell wouldn't be able to beat it with less than four people on my team. But would be interesting to see if it actually would work, like, technically. Because if it does, then there's definitely some people who've already done it, I guess. Oh, it's one of those challenges where I have to fight endlessly until the time limit is over. Oh, man. Take this. Get a load of this. Get a load. This. We got 27 seconds, 26, 25, 24, 23 seconds, 22, 21, 20 seconds, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, I'm on the run, 12, 11, 10, this one goes to heaven, and the ending has... Take flight. Come. Ta -da. I'm not an actor, I'm a musician, <laughs> clearly. Uh, select stage, no, how about we don't do that. I'm just here to take my primo jumps. Okay, I will be doing this off screen then. But guys, I will do as the little menu here just suggested. I will abandon filming and uh, saying see you in the next episode of Kenshin Impact. And until then, Shazam. Bye bye. That's the end of the video. Let me know if you wanna subscribe to my channel. Please don't take the seriously. I'm just joking.